Welcome to week two of our series, God's House, all about the church. How did you do in the uh, icebreaker guessing people's middle names? Fun fact, my middle name is Danette. My mother was Laurel Danette, and she named me Lisa Danette, and we both chose to go by Danette. And as you can see, we also both served in the U.S. Air Force. This is a frame of my two favorite pictures of my mom, like mother, like daughter. So today, we'll be talking about the church as a place for acceptance. Sometimes preachers will make a distinction between the big C church and the little C church. And what they mean is that church with a capital C refers to what the Bible calls the body of Christ, collectively people who follow Jesus. And the little C church simply means any local church. And it helps us remember that our local church is part of the big C church. All who have accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior and chosen to follow him belong to his church. Three things I want you to know or do to make your Connect Group experience awesome. One, share your thoughts in bite sizes so people can easily digest what you're saying. Two, encourage and make room for other people to share their thoughts as well. And three, if someone says something that you find controversial or just plain weird, don't jump all over them to correct them. Take a breath, stay curious, and ask a clarifying question, or calmly state the way you see it. If you're like me and you have a lousy poker face, try practicing the neutral face, or what I like to call the non-reaction. I had a lot of practice when my kids were teenagers at non-reacting. So instead of going like this, try this. Or something similar. The point is, we hope you have the kind of atmosphere in your group where people from all different backgrounds feel accepted and respected. You don't have to compromise living and teaching a biblical worldview in order to accept people. In fact, when people feel accepted and respected, they're more open to hearing about a biblical worldview. So let's practice acceptance together and we'll work on our poker face. Today, you'll be discussing James 4, verses 11 and 12. The Apostle James, who led the church in Jerusalem, he wrote this letter to Christians at that time, and its principles apply to us today. In this chapter, he had been addressing strife in the Christian community and offering solutions. As you discuss this passage, Consider how God wants you to grow and the solutions that James offers in these two brief verses. Food for thought. Holding a biblical worldview and loving people who don't follow Jesus are not mutually exclusive. Jesus modeled this for us all the time. Acceptance and approval are not the same. It's okay to disagree with someone's life choices while still holding them as an image bearer of God worthy of Jesus' love and acceptance. Don't confuse teaching the gospel and condemning people. As Jesus ambassadors, we unapologetically share the gospel and trust the Holy Spirit to draw them to Christ. Let's pray. Lord, we just ask that as we discuss today's passage, you would give us your heart for people. Help us, God, to continue to grow in our biblical worldview while at the same time loving and accepting people who don't have a biblical worldview. Help us to be just like you. In your name, amen.